I, I think that I mean one of the major lessons of my uh, book, I think, is that no one family form is um, natural, normal, or ideal for everyone. And one of the points I try to make is that what is natural in uh, the human species is diversity. Uh, it's true for other species as well. Monogamy is not natural. Promiscuity is not natural. Non-monogamy is not natural. Celibacy is not natural. All of these things are a part of nature. And um, what is natural is diversity. All of those things are natural for some people. And what I think would be um, the best family system would be a family system that accepts the inevitability of diversity and tries to provide protections for equality and consent and caretaking and doesn't make, um, in other words, monogamy, we are, it's the ideal, but in fact we know that there, it's not practiced by um, a huge percentage of people who um, give their vows to that. So from my point of view, it would be much more um, intelligent and um, honest to have, I want to redefine fidelity to mean honesty and integrity, and that people, intimate relationships should be based on what works for those people that they honestly embrace, and that that changes over the course of a lifetime. What's good for young people is not always what's good, what, what they want when they're a little bit older. What's good when you're raising children is not necessarily what's good when the children are gone. And I think that um, intimate partners, and usually these will be couples, but they don't need to be always couples, should be able to um, write the rules and terms of their relationships in ways that are honest, in which they make promises that they want to keep with each other and try to keep. And that infidelity is when you break those promises, but the promises don't need to be the same for everyone.